Hmm. Okay, so I just did this video, except um, Firefox and my Dell Latitude hate me because it froze and I tagged everybody and all that greatness and it froze and I had to start over. So, um, here we go. Movies. Movies. Dirty Dancing, hands down. Uh, Grease would have been on the list, but as it turns out, Grease didn't make the list. Uh, Leon the Professional, good film. Gotta watch it. it has Natalie Portman in it. She was Padme in Star Wars. Uh, Sixteen Candles, Molly Ringwald, who doesn't love her. And Say the Last Dance. It was probably the height of Julia Stiles' career. I don't really know what she's doing now, but... I'm pretty sure that was like her best film. Oh, and this movie. And don't dare laugh at me, okay? No one liked this film. Nobody. But you know who did? Me. Okay. See this? 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 This is people and fun. And this, this is the DVD. And you need to watch it. Because I guarantee you, if you watch it, you will love it. And if you don't love it, watch it again. And then love it. Because I say so. Um, was that all? Okay. Food. Alright. Celeste Personal Pizzas. Okay. They're amazing. They're, like, delicious. My boss actually was like, ew, you like those? And I'm just like, how do you not like them? Like, come on. Celeste? And then it act me when they have the 10 for 10 sale. And I whip out my super card. And I buy, like, one because it's a dollar. And... You don't have to buy all 10 to get the 10 for 10 deal, so, um, but I have a diet now, so I can't do that. Special K Protein Plus, okay? I eat the whole box, and it costs $5, so, you know, with this recession going on, that's, like, my box for, like, the whole month, and it's gone now. Like, it didn't even last a day. Uh, day-old spaghetti. Now, let me explain. When your mom, or you... You make spaghetti, and and you have the ground beef, and the spaghetti, I mean, the ground, well, yeah, it's called spaghetti, because the noodles. The spaghetti noodles, the ground beef, and the tomato sauce, pasta sauce, whatever you use. No, it has to be red tomato sauce. Okay, let me explain this right. So, like, the Bertoli, I think, or, like, the, who's those pasta sauce people? Uh, ragu, prego, somebody like that? And... You first make it and you serve it and it's just all slimy, well not slimy, but like slippery, like really slippery. I don't like that. I like the way spaghetti tastes when you cook it fresh and then you stick it in the refrigerator for a day and then you come back the next day and you reheat it. That is delicious spaghetti. Okay, um, <clears throat> toasted mayo sandwiches. So you take toast. It has to be white bread, even though I'm fully against white bread and I love my wheat bread. Wheat bread does not have the same zinc. You take white bread, you put some mayonnaise on it, and you eat it. And it's amazing. Sometimes I put lettuce on it, too. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. Or cheese. But it's great. Um, ooh, and lastly, graham crackers and milk. The number one hands-down reason I have a weight problem. I've been doing this since fourth grade. And I would take everyone's graham crackers. They loved me in elementary school. They would give me their graham crackers at lunch because we used to get them. We'd get two in a pack. And we'd all have chocolate milk. And I've since then nixed the chocolate milk and, you know, moved on to white skin milk. But you take them and you crush them up and you put them in a cup or a carton. We used to have little milk cartons. And I would use my spork and I'd let it get all soggy and then I would eat it. And it was delicious. So there's that. Uh, TV shows. Okay. So number one, Coupling. BBC. That is a good freaking show. BBC television. NBC 10 here tried to copy it with like American actors. And it was horrible. It was dreadful. It was not fascinating at all. It was not brilliant. Um, the Tribe. A show by Cloud9, um, based in New Zealand. I love it. I'm actually watching it right now with, like, surfthechannel.com because 
they have every episode from every season and I found like one season of it here on cable and I couldn't afford cable so I could only see like every time we had cable which was not often and I missed a lot of the show so using the internet now moving on up uh ooh okay Degrassi from CTV Canadian show loving it I'm still watching it I've been watching it since like 2001 Instant Star, another CTV program in Canada. It's a good show. It's not on anymore, but it was a great show. Like four seasons. And the only show in America that I'm about to name is As the World Turns. I live by that soap opera. That soap opera, soap opera, soap opera is the reason I was often absent from middle school because even though my middle school was right across the street, I decided that you know, staying home until 2 o'clock to watch it was the best thing for me. And he got out of school at 2.41, so it's not like I could really go and show up late. Um, travel destinations. Okay, so I'm not really sure what the travel de bleh, 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 destinations thing is about. Like, if you have been there or whatever. I don't really have money to travel, but if, well... One place I do like is Ocean City, Maryland. We used to go every summer. So I, I love that place. Um, New York. I don't think I like it's one of my favorite places, but I did go for a birthday and I had a really good time. But I just wish there were less people there and less stink because there's so much going on in that city that I was in Manhattan and those, those drains, man, they, they got some foul funk coming out. Mm, um, but if I had money, I would go to London, New Zealand, and Barcelona. All beautiful places that I really, really want to go to. Um, ooh, sorry for the length. Uh, bands. Okay. Um, Panic at the Disco, their first album. Not that I don't like their second album, but I just think they were a lot more fun with their first album, and the second album was kind of weird. So, yeah. Panic. Um, Paramore. Uh, Jason Mraz, love him. He is so refreshing. I love all his music. Um, Coheed and Cambria, uh, and Alexis Johnson, who was the star of Instant Star, and the entire series, the album that they had for it was just awesome. Like, each season had a different album, and all those songs were just amazing. Um, okay, and songs we have the let down by the white tie affair it's a good song youtube it um if by janet jackson it's kind of messed up because i idolized that song when i was like four years old and if you guys know the lyrics to that song that was it's like child abuse for for me to like it i think um come on eileen by dexie's midnight runners I adore that song. I don't know why. Uh, like a Prayer by Madonna. I can't get through my day without hearing that song. It's like, it's like, it's like a, it's like a tradition. Uh, ooh, and Lying is the most fun a girl could have without taking off her clothes. Or taking her clothes off. By Painting at the Disco. My all-time fave. Oh, I'm running out of time. Okay. Drinks. Drinks. Uh, so, if any of you are familiar with Save a Lot or just generic brands in general, um, Strawberry Patch Soda was my favorite soda when I used to drink soda. Uh, orange juice, um, apple juice, oh my god, apple juice is like an addiction for me. Uh, cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper, again, when I used to drink soda, it was a favorite of mine. And last but not least, McFlurry from McDonald's. I don't know if that's considered a drink, but it kind of is if you let it melt. And uh, the Oreo, it's my all-time personal favorite. And now that you've heard me ramble for, uh, yeah, nine, almost ten minutes, I'm going to go now. And I'm going to re-tag all the people I tagged before my computer crashed later. Uh, but, okay, so thanks for the tag, my skinny mission. And I hope this was not as lame as I think. Ooh, like my barrettes? Aren't they cute? I feel like I'm four again. I think I said that already. Okay. Well, bye, y'all.